players and not you doing have, anything. You have to dedicate a so, lot of yeah. something to the game. You have to yeah. You have to become a crazy person. You, that's that's absolutely true. No normal people are good at Smash. No, that's true. So anyway, here we are. Moon versus Tapikins. Dude, do you have any money on this match? Who do, who do you, if you had to put money on it, who would you... you know, I in a, in a lot of matches, has I wouldn't put Moon. But I feel like in this, oddly enough, I would I favor the Moon. All right, cool. I was hoping that we were on different sides of it. Yeah, yeah. So let's go Tapo. <laughs> Sean, what's up? I think just experience alone. This matchup's a lot about whoever is in the air is at a big disadvantage. You do yeah. not want to be in the air against, or you don't want to be above the other guy. Yeah, especially Mart. That's, you know what I mean? It says in the encyclopedia, don't be above Mart. <laughs> Yeah, and Sheik has a real tough time coming down. And so does Marth. You know, Sheik has some pretty sweet juggles. Yeah. Good tilts. Yeah. Oh, but Moon space and Tapo out. Oh, that was a big he up tilt. Him. Fantastic. Huge down tilt. Oh. That was a... Okay. Tapo adding on some percentage. Throwing the Marth off. I like the thought that didn't, like, threaten to go, like, super deep in rising back air. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Down throw to like just stare at the guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Wow. That is so bad. This is all so bad for Tapo that like he hasn't been able to take the stock. And every opportunity to take the stock that passes by, I feel like his confidence is probably going down a little bit. Because this is a heartbreaker. You feel like, man, I should have taken that stock when I had three stocks. Now I have two. Uh, that's the worst. Yeah, when you should have taken that stock and made it even. And now you're Yeah, dead. and now you're sitting down a full stock. With plenty of opportunities to have taken it too. But Moon moving quick. Oh, beautiful up air. Wow. Dude, I feel like Moon thinks that he's cool. And uh, he, he only did three. I don't know. I feel like Moon. I'm pretty does. surprised here. Yeah. Definitely. I can't see Moon going for four. <laughs> oh. It is true, oh, that. that <laughs> I, it's a joke now, but it's absolutely true. People that think they're cool, they go for it all. <laughs> Marth mains, they kind of know what they're doing to go for three. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Put him on so much percent. You probably didn't want the tipper part there, too. Like yeah. Up, but I keep think that you take the percent, though. Wow. F tilt. And, you know, Sheik just, uh, again, has a really hard time getting down, and that's kind of like the price that he paid for it. And that's why all these combos are designed to get the opponent up in the air in front of you. That's why up tilt is so amazing. That's anti-air in the game. Oh. And... It seems to me that where Moon is winning this is like a character length away to spacing. Just everything. Yeah, yeah. Did you hear that? Moon upbeat to kill himself? Huh? And uh, you only... Like, it actually cut off the sound effect. Yeah. That's so weird. I like, feel like most sound effects, they'll, they'll last until they're done. Okay. Whoa, two hits and a tipper up tilt. We've been seeing the two hits all day. Yeah. I, I, was, I, I thought it was With a more thing starting to come to like the light. Maybe it's coming back. Maybe this is the new meta. It's always moving. It's always something. All I know is that uh, Ken destroyed me with 4B at Kings of Cali He's the best at something. It. He destroyed me with 4B. Is I didn't Ken even know that the cool? movie... He thinks he's so cool. <laughs> Uh, he is definitely guilty of thinking that he's super cool. We've all been there. All right, game one to Moon. Pretty convincingly. I have my money on Tapikins, and so I very much hope that he can make this happen. I don't think there's a better stage. Like the Battlefield? There's, there's nowhere he can like go that would like be better than what he just did. Yeah, it's probably just going to come down to, uh, to that personal, game, right? Personal preference. Yeah, probably go back. I love when we go back to Battlefield. I really do. <laughs> what a beautiful stage. It is a beautiful stage. Pax uh, was telling me he thinks you shouldn't be allowed to ban it. I think so. I, okay, I don't quite agree with it, but like, we can talk about it later. I actually yeah. have like deep thoughts about this issue. Battlefield? He no, thinks about it should the, be the, about only, the, topic of the only like stage playable. He said if it's, if you Let's go, dude. ran a tournament, to find out who the best player is. It would be Battlefield. It would only, only be Battlefield. I feel like every tournament we're trying to find out who the best is. Yeah. A uh, quick stock that the moon takes again. Tavikin's doing random forward smashes, whiffing grabs, taking sword to the face. You know, classic. He is looking lost out here. 
Moon, talk to him. Did he ever Tafo lose to the scarf offense? No. Uh, he actually did like back in training because I like kind of trained Tafo. Okay. Back in the day, and uh, sometimes I would just spank him with my Falcon, and I'd be like, you know, I'm just gonna go Scarf. <laughs> but I think Scarf's retired for the re weekend. Joey, uh, Batman beat him hella bad. Oh Lucky. really? <laughs> yeah. I've only heard the legends. But I'm not afraid of Batman. I have a money match with Batman. He's gonna get spanked. <laughs> yep. Okay. So again, Tapo in this position where if he, di if he dies here, he's going to be kicking himself later. And it looks like it's just rinse and repeat now. Yeah. I like the, the down air. It popped him up on the platform, but usually to write a percentage where down air would lead into F-Smash, and yeah. it can. Yep. All right. Down air, up air. Okay. All right, Tapo. The thing that I'm seeing is just like Moon is dancing all around him. Tavo kind of can't get him down on lock. He's got no read on where he's going to be. He's not getting much like for his grabs, though, either. Yeah. And that's tough. You definitely need to make a lot out of your grabs. Look at that whiff dash tag. There's just so much whiffing. Look. Look yeah. at Moon dancing around him. He's a big this pivot guy. Okay. I, I totally forgot he was at 192. Yeah. No, I think up tilt is, is the swaggest move, by the way. Because Marth just looks like he doesn't yeah. care at all. Up tilt's pretty. I just think like, Marth is go. the prettiest, like, he looks pretty when he's playing good. Oh, Marth's like pretty. Like the smoothest. Marth is definitely pretty. Dude, Carol, I'm so tired. Nah, I, I just it. had to I have to say it. I'm so tired, dude. Oh, my poor brain. You really start to feel it. Like, two-day nationals over, like, three-day nationals. Like, we got to pack We, we gotta crammed pack so in. much in today. I hope that the people playing in the 10 p.m. pools can play at a sufficiently high level. Because I know that my matches are going to be horrible. <laughs> Might be sloppy, yeah. My brain is mush. This is what I, that's why I'm thinking about it because of Tafkins. Look at the, look at him. <laughs> it looks like he's playing with a mush brain right now. Let's go, Tafkins. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, pretty sweet combo by Moon. Uh, you know, getting Sheik off stage is always a good thing. He didn't really go for uh He can't really, like, get back fast enough to put himself in a threatening position. You mean oh! from, uh, from yeah, that, that was cool. Tap against thought the ending's cool. Okay. Gimmer freaked out about that. The down air to up B. That's I, nice. I heard Gimmer out of the corner of my... Ooh! <laughs> corner of my ear. Oh. That, that was air was thing. so nice by Moon. Okay. And a very standard dash tag forward quarter. Wow, six shield. I feel like there could have been a like a nair out of shield punish, and it yeah. would have got rid of his jump. And just could have been good. But you would never expect like a good Marth to like up be that high. Have it to the noob slayer. Did you see it? Oh, yeah. Run past forward smash the other way. Yeah, that's the noob slayer. It or should it's never hit, especially when Tavikins does it. Yeah, with Sheik. Everybody who's watching, don't let Tavikins do that to you. Yeah, when he runs past you, like, roll or something. Yeah. Do something else. Just block. Okay. Tavo trying to start something. The three. Oh! All right. This is it's coming down the wire. What seemed like Mush Brain uh, <laughs> Tafa <laughs> bringing it back. It's definitely super tense Ooh, right now. Ooh, okay. Matafo getting percent by percent closer to a tie game. Oh, he's, he's this is the bad news. Now, How's he going to come down? Can he come down at all? Ooh, I thought that oh, he didn't no. ready to get up. Is he going to take this game? He might. Moon's trying to come back. Is he going to throw the needles? Oh, and the Marth Killer. That would have been tragic if the Marth Killer didn't work there. Because with Sheik, it's not guaranteed. Dude, Tafo has a cheering section. How where, is this where are we? Yeah, what world where are we? Are we? <laughs> yeah. Tapo the crowd pleaser. I guess so. They love they love a good Marth killer, I guess. So uh, yeah, he was just chipping away at the percent and was able to uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. He felt bad that Tafo was like soaking in the crowd and forgot yeah. to be the cheek. Definitely forgot to hold A. Yeah. Common mistake. It happens. Sorry, we all get caught up in our own uh, fan section sometimes. I hate when people say that, like, 
make the joke that Toffe won there. Oh, yeah. I say that a lot, actually. I think it's yeah. a funny joke. <laughs> All right, set's over. <laughs> Toffe wins 2 1. No, I hate that joke, too. But yeah. I make it anyway. I make it in spite, yeah, of, my so in spite of my better judgment. What I else? know that it's a bad joke. What else do you say about like them awkwardly killing each themselves for the next 25 seconds? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. See I'm guilty. Man. Oh! That's gonna I feel like cost. every game has started this way. With Moon just showing Tavakins. <laughs> who's daddy? Yeah, who's daddy? Look at my sword. He does that get up up tilt a lot, and it's, sometimes it's crazy. Dude, you know what? I've been playing Fire Emblem, and so now I get Marth. Like, I understand his universe. What he's about? Yeah, kind of. And I know what the Fire Emblem is. I never knew what it was. Oh, really? You know, Marth's sword is like the Sword of Legend. It's, it's almost like the Master Sword. Link. Of, like, their universe? Yeah, like, there's, yeah, like, I one. That. Like I said, I think Marth is a melee character first before anything. So. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> well, I didn't play the Fire Emblem with Marth, so, but I know about the sword. Anyway, yeah. it's complicated. But all I'm, I'm saying is... He's got the, the mythical Falchion. Falchion. I don't know how to say that word. But he's got it. Moon trying to style. With the truest of dumpsters. I think that uh, runoff, fastfall, double jump, down air is like such an ultra dumpster. Oh, when Mart does it? Yeah, fastball. or Falco. It's like kind of like you dip down under it's the like platform. A babysit kind of yeah. thing. And then you're like, all right. You dip down and you come up with down air. And it's just like, oh. If I touch that at all, I'm so dead. <laughs> Moon dominating this game. Yeah. Super definitely. dominating. He read that roll, and it made it look so easy. I think Tafo was down like this last game day, too. Uh, Not Sorry, quite this yeah. much. <laughs> well, if he takes one stock here and then just finishes out. Yeah. Yeah, it's not definitely not unwinnable at this point. Uh, but, you know, every, every hit that Moon gets, every and if he so gets huge. like a combo set up, uh, you know, it, it just gets farther and farther out of reach. But uh, right now, this is looking very doable. But uh, the, the difference is that Moon is just showing that he's got a better handle on this matchup. He's got a better read on Tafo than Tafo has on Moon. Outplaying him. Yeah. Which makes you think, how how did game two go so bad for Dude, Moon? it was just that last stock. It was yeah. so weird. Tafo. He just got hit by a bunch of straight like moves. It didn't look like Tafo turned it up either. He no. just kind of <laughs> was there. He was doing the same stuff, and it just magically started working. But now it's not working anymore. Moon's not having it. He's having none of it. Okay. The moon Moon's, is Moon's reads are so good. Yeah, he's absolutely like his own style of one. Self-taught. Self-taught Mark. Ask him who inspires him. He's like, no one. I love the double dip. He just double dipped on it's my really friend's hard Hopkins. Sometimes. Is it, no, yeah. I think double dipping is super hard. And he it, must know the hit's done really well, because I didn't think it was gonna work. Yeah. Yeah, like I said. Ooh, okay. He definitely knows what he's doing in this matchup. Tapo fan section has said nothing. This yeah, they, match. they've stopped. They're quiet. They're watching. SDI. We'll see if Tapo can take You know who's the best at babysitting? Sheik. Yeah? Just you think so? Being in like that area and threatening. Wow, that was Yeah, because yeah. they just reverse needle. They can grab the edge if they want to, or just go super deep. Oh, I hate when they go super deep and you think they were going to grab the ledge, and then they yeah. come up with a back air. Oh, she's so good. Okay. All right. So this could definitely be the last stock of Winner's Bracket for Tavikins. Moon just falling him everywhere. And then the other thing that I noticed that I didn't quite point out, but like when Tapo gets Moon up, and, uh, you know, he's in, like, a good position to start juggling. It feels like Moon has just figured out how to get down. Yeah. He's doing really well-spaced down airs, really well-spaced forward airs, and just, like, tricky aerial movement. This is going to be it. Oh! oh! If he landed on the platform... I did not think he was going to get up that hot. That was crazy. All right, look at things looking grim for Tafo. Because once you're at 146... What do you got? Yeah, that's, that's it. All right, well fought. Okay. Tavo gives Moon a hug. That was sweet. Yeah, you, you show love, dude. Gimmer, we should find somebody else for me. I'm, I'm being super lame. I'm exhausted, dude. I can't, I can't, <laughs> can't, can't keep going. I, I've reached my limit. I'm gonna watch Wizzy and Mango. Wizzy Mango. You might have to sub out. I can't get up. Did you just tell me to get up and find someone? Nobody. We're gonna wants have to, to go help. to the bench. Nobody wants to help. 
poor scar. Today, no, no, no. Uh, Joe